Another most important function of lysosome is autophagy. After intercellular digestion, another most important function that lysosome performs is autophagy. Autophagy, as the word says, auto self phagous process of eating. It is actually a self eating process. It is defined as a self eating process. Self eating process. Self eating process actually is a process that is carried out by cell with the help of lysosomes to destroy the structures that are worn out, are unwanted, or have increased in a number in a cytoplasm so that the a functional number of organelles can be kept under normal uh, conditions, make cell able to perform its function. Lysosome actually performs autophagy for several processes. It performs autophagy for different reasons. One is to destroy one out of organ leaves. It is to destroy the one out organ leaves. Another reason for autophagy is to, to reduce the number of organelles to normal. Third is deficiency of food. It's called deficiency of food. Why lysosome carries out autophagy? This carries out autophagy for different reasons. Say for example, there is an organelles, there are one out organelles that are present in the cytoplasm. These one out organelles are as if present in form of uh, uh, somes, either can be considered as a phagosomes or ETC. When these, these organelles, one out organelles, the parts, the molecules are present, in a cytoplasm, lysosome will help them to destroy these complex structures into simple forms by a process called autophagy. This therefore is a process, say this is called, these are called primary lysosomes present here. These primary lysosomes will get fused with these food, uh, with these lysosomes. And when these lysosomes get these food vacuoles, they become a complex structure. As we have already studied, this is called complex secondary lysosome that contains food. That contains food and the food actually is the, the parts, uh, the particles of the one of cells. Once these uh, particles are received by lysosomes, lysosome will perform their function and they will, with the help of uh, hydrolytic enzymes, would digest them and they would be destroyed, they would be converted into simple forms and absorbed and recycled in a cytoplasm and they are the, the content of these organelles uh, is used for other purposes. This way cell can carry out this artifact which is necessary to destroy the walnut organelles is one of the function why lysosome carries of uh, carries of the autophagy. Another reason sometimes if for example as we have studied in an federal case, say for example, some of our muscles are perform performing function. And when they are performing function, say for example, we are performing in a, 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 a heavy exercise. When we are moving our muscles at a very fast rate, we are performing an exercise and these muscles start producing mitochondria in a higher number. And the higher number of mitochondria is required to produce higher amount of ATP. And ATP is required to carry out the energy consuming function that body is performing. Once we are done with the mito with, uh, once we are done with the exercise, now the excess number of mitochondria that are produced in cytoplasm, these excess mitochondria are of no use now. Say for example, in a cytoplasm, there are these are mitochondria present which are in an excess. And when these mitochondria are in an excess, again, lysosome can carry out its function of autophagia, 
these lysosomes would engulf to these mitochondria, to these organelles. And the lysosomes when fuse, when attach to these organelles of the cell, they can distract to mitochondria in order to bring the number of mitochondria to normal in a cytoplasm. This is another important function for what uh, lysosome carries of autophagia in order to keep the number constant, in order to get the number of organelles to a normal lysosomes also perform a function that is also called autophagia. This is not only, autophagia is not only carried out to destroy the worn outs or to bring the number of uh, organelles to a normal, sometimes cells undergo a nutritional deficiency. And when cells do not have a sufficient amount of food required for cells activities and lysosomes are running a shortage of food, they undergo a process that process is also called autophagy in order to meet the nutritional requirements, in order uh, to fulfill their food requirements, cell starts eating itself cell starts eating its own organelles. And when cell starts eating its own organelles with the help of lysosome, this would also be termed as an autophagy. Therefore, autophagy actually is a process where lysosome eat the organelles of cell. Autophagy, another important function that lysosome performs is autolysis. Sometimes, these lysosomes that contain the hydrolytic enzymes. There is this lysosome, and this lysosome contains within it hydrolytic enzymes. And these enzymes are surrounded by the structure of plasma membrane that contains these hydrolytic enzymes, and they have to perform their functions what is necessary. And the necessary functions we have studied, the lysosome has to carry out the intracellular digestion, lysosome has to destroy the worn out organelles and particles within cytoplasm. Lysosome have to keep the numbers of organelles constant in the cytoplasm. Sometimes these lysosomes get their membrane biases. When the membrane biases, the content present in form of the enzyme releases. When these lysosomes burst, they act as a suicidal cell. Lysosome releases its enzymes in the cytoplasm. When lysosome bursts, it releases its, its enzymes in the cytoplasm. And these enzymes are hydrolytic enzymes. And these enzymes start destroying cell organelles. These cell organelles that are present there, these organelles are digested with the help of enzymes. These enzymes that are released by lysosomes. And when they digest all these organelles, they cause the lysis, they cause the death of a cell as if they cause suicidal attack on cell and cell is destroyed. Sometimes they can even cause the lysis of a cell also. Therefore, they are also involved in a process called autolysis. As they are causing autolysis, they are acting as a suicide sex. As we have we generally call them as an suicide sex. We call lysosomes as an suicide sex. Why? Because they release, they sometimes burst and they release, release enzymes that even cause the lysis of cell. Therefore, we call them as their suicide sex. Is they are carrying a suicidal attacks on cell. Uh, I, I just for fun term them as an, they are biological tyrosis that cause the death, that cause the tyrosis to take on a cell and destroy a cell. Therefore, this is another important function of autolysis uh, which lysosome carries out. In this way, uh, we have almost studied the important aspects of lysosome. We have studied the characteristics of lysosomes, its origin, membrane structures, its intercellular, uh, uh, its, its structure you know, where, where it's containing hydrolytic enzymes, and it's a structure that we have got originated from Golgi bodies and it's forms also, it can be primary, it can be secondary lysosomes and we have also studied the functions, in last we have studied the functions of lysosomes where we have studied 
lysosome performs the functions of intracellular digestion, it performs autophagy, and it performs autolysis. Finally, at, at the end, we have to study diseases that are also caused by lysosomes. Sometimes we say these lysosomes that actually produce these enzymes or carry these enzymes, and these enzymes are actually coded by genes. And if an organism undergoes a process of mutation or variation, or it's a congenital problem, and the organism happens to get the gene recessive, when gene is not functional, the enzymes are not produced. And when these enzymes are not produced, lysosome lacks necessary enzymes that are required for intercellular digestion. And when enzymes are not present in a lysosome, the food that actually is to be digested instead digestion that is accumulated in a lysosome. And the accumulation of food in a lysosome causes several disorders that are called lysosome storage disorders. I think uh, I must stop the lecture here. I'll deal with the diseases in the next class.